one simple message. Be out. Come out. Diversity is who we are. It is what we must finally stand for. Just understanding and love and acceptance. That's the most you hope for. Our responsibility is to accept it and to express who we really are. And to maintain dignity in a world that would tell us who and what to be. It's just a bunch of humans looking for the basics of love, acceptance, the belonging. And I hope that we can just celebrate it without having to fight for it. A story like that is, is a story that's equal to any other love story. Being gay, the last time I thought about it, seemed to have nothing to do with the ability to read a balance book, fix a broken bone, or change a spark plug. We should have the same equal protection, civil rights that others have. We are one house, we are one people, we are one family. My 10-year-old son came to me and says, Mommy, what is this stuff, being gay? And I said, well, it's like having blue eyes or blonde hair, or, you know, you're born that or you're born this. And he goes, oh, is that all? My older brother, Mike, is getting married to his partner of five years, Josh, this fall. I'm a bridesmaid. We all have to come out of the closet with our humanity. It goes from you or me to you and me, and finally, you are me, which is the most profound expression of equality. Like my husband, I believe that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. For rights denied to one are rights denied to all. Civil rights are civil rights. There are no persons who are not entitled to their civil rights. And our God will be served if we are hospitable and loving and caring toward them in every way we can possibly muster. We are a precious gift from God to this planet. We all need to share our stories. When all of us, with all of our differences, stand together under the shelter of divine acceptance. Will we change the world? You know the answer by now. You can count on it.